For the next fortnight, beginning with the opening ceremony on July 26th, the world's eyes will be on Paris. The City of Light has turned into the world's largest arena for sporting gladiators, with hosting the Olympics. But these Olympics, say its organizers, will be different from Rio, Tokyo and London. Paris 2024 promises to be more responsible, more sustainable and more inclusive than its predecessors. Are Paris 2024 the greenest and most sustainable Olympics? Newsline Plus decodes. Since the outset, the organizers of the Paris 2024 Games promised to slash the carbon footprint by half. From roughly 3.5 million tons each in Tokyo 2020, Rio 2016 and London 2012 to 1.75 tons this time around. How are they planning to do this? Well, they've calculated its material footprint, a first in the history of the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Venue by venue, every resource has been mapped with the objective of minimizing the footprint, whether it is spectator seating or tents, or beds, chairs, tables, or even tennis balls. The use of diesel generators will be kept at a minimum, with 100% renewable energy being used. Weather in July in Paris is hot and humid, so departing from the original plan to go without air conditioning, the organizers have had to set up 2,500 temporary cooling units for the athletes. The athletes will be hosted in minimal accommodation. Think mattresses crafted from recycled fishing nets and beds constructed from sturdy cardboard. How will the carbon footprint be minimized? Most Olympic venues are easily accessible by public transport. 1,000 kilometers of dedicated cycle lanes are in place with an additional 3,000 pay-as-you-go cycles available for rent. Since meat and dairies account for 18% of greenhouse gas emissions, Paris 2024 will promote plant-based, local and sustainable food. Which are the other measures that promote sustainability? Unlike London, which developed 8 new facilities for the Olympics, and Tokyo, which added 11 new locations, Paris will use existing structures or temporary setups for 95% of its Olympic events. The Aquatic Center in St. Denis, one of the new venues, uses solar power and is built with recycled natural bio-based minerals. The Aquatic Center in St. Denis, one of the new venues, uses solar power and is built with recycled natural bio-based materials. Most of the furniture used during the Games will be repurposed after the Olympics. Also, rather than purchase it, most of the furniture has been leased. Not just this, the 2,800 newly built apartments in the Olympic Village will be transformed into residential homes once the event concludes. Are the Paris 2024 Games entirely eco-friendly? No, the city is expecting an influx of about 10 million tourists during the Games. Plus, 15,000 athletes, 45,000 volunteers and 20,000 media representatives. The flights to and from the Charles de Gaulle airport will bring with them substantial greenhouse gas emissions.